Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a review of a new foundation. I feel like I, I don't often do product reviews because I'm not sure if that's something that you guys want to see a whole video for, for one random product. But I figured I will try this out because you guys voted in my last poll that you do like to see reviews, product reviews. So I'm going to be reviewing a new foundation from Marc Jacobs. Alright, so this is what the foundation looks like. Um, it's actually kind of a nugget. Um, it looks really small so it looks like this um, the packaging is kind of weird and different it's like this skinny little container don't be fooled by the look of this if you look at you know my other foundations you might think okay this has like no product in it but um, you just have to look at the fluid ounces which the standard size for a foundation is roughly one ounce this is 1.08 fluid ounces um, Kat Von D, for example, this is one ounce, so this is actually a little bit less, even though it looks like it's so much more. Um, so this is called Shameless Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation. Um, I wanted to get this A because it's new and I wanted to try it out um, for you guys, since I know you guys like product reviews. Also, it has SPF in it, and as we're getting into summer, it's important um, to have a foundation, for me anyway, that has SPF in it. So, last time I tried this foundation, this is not the first time I tried it. I tried it once before, um, but I wasn't loving it. It kind of left dry patches on my face. Um, and I do wear a matte foundation. I don't have, like, ridiculously dry skin, but I don't also, I also don't have, like, ridiculously oily skin. So, I'm gonna put on moisturizer, um, right now first before I do this, just to give it a fair chance and try it one more time and if not if it's no good um i'll return it because it was expensive and sephora takes so much of my money a year that you know they can refund me if i don't like it so the moisturizer i'm using um currently is the first aid beauty um ultra repair cream this is really good if you have sensitive skin or if you're just you know getting into skincare because it's not too expensive um it's two ounces so it's a bigger size most moisturizers might be like um i feel like 1.7 is the standard um and they also have this in like a huge tub and they'll always have specials and stuff so again this is really good for sensitive skin or if you just you know you don't you have a skincare routine at the moment and you kind of want to get into one. Okay, so this is supposed to be a medium coverage. The color that I got is Fair Y130. And it's actually a pretty good color for me, um, I'll say that. And I feel like I do remember the range of colors on their website being pretty good. Um, it's supposed to be a medium coverage, I believe. Which I us usually will wear a full coverage, but to go to work... I don't care like I'll do I'm not gonna be as picky so this is something that I was planning on you know wearing to work um, just during the daytime and when I go out you know to the bar or I go out to like a dinner or something where I want to look really nice that's when I'll wear my other foundations um, my Kat Von D one that I just showed you guys that is like my go-to full coverage foundation. So as I'm putting it on, I feel like it does look a little bit better so far um, than the first time that I used it. Let me see, let me get up in this mirror here. Yeah, it definitely looks better um, right now than it did before with me, you know, not having moisturizer on before. And the brush that I'm using to apply this, um, this is the Sephora Multitasker or number 45 brush. Um, I use this for the most part if I'm not using my Beauty Blender. My Beauty Blender I'll use again for more full coverage foundations. Um, and I'll use that at night. When I'm getting ready for work in the morning like I am right now, I'm not going to like sit there and wet and clean my Beauty Blender. I try to like take as many shortcuts as I can um, because I'm tired as hell and I don't feel like doing all this craziness. So as long as I look decent, it's fine. Um, I do know that my forehead was patchy before with this, so let me, all right, 
it's not patchy now with the moisturizer which is good all right so here it is just with nothing no powder um, all set so this is saying that it's supposed to be a self-setting foundation um, which I think is hooey or baloney or whatever BS I'm not gonna not set my foundation ever um, even if my skin was like super super dry and I really didn't need a powder I might just use just a little bit of a translucent powder just to you know make sure that it's set because I feel like it, you're just gonna like rub off on the world or whatever um, so I am gonna set this I'm using my Urban Decay um, powder foundation and this is a brush that I always use if you're familiar with me and watch my videos um, this is by Sedona Lace it's just like a flat top dense brush the 928 um, and this is just what I use to set my foundation I always kind of do the same steps here and I just press into my skin I don't rub um, because then you're kind of disturbing the foundation underneath so I just press in to set everything and it looks fine I don't have like anything crazy that I'm trying to cover um, like pimples or anything like that at the moment so I think a medium coverage foundation you know for daytime is fine um, for bronzer I'm gonna use my sweetie pie uh, bronzer by Too Faced that looks like this. I showed this to my sister and told her to get it and she was freaked out um, about the pink. You see like the little pink flecks in it because she's like okay am I gonna like have a pink face? Um, when it comes to things like this I will say Too Faced actually sent me this bronzer so I, this is not something that I would have bought um, if I was just shopping for bronzers because it did have and it does have you know shimmer to it um, and it has that pink accent but when you put it on it actually ends up being fine um, it may be like a tinge teeny tiny bit more orange than something like my NARS contour blush which looks like this I don't have a lot left but it's that like a lot more cooler toned compared to this guy um but honestly for the most part it ends up looking the same as long as it doesn't have like legitimate glitter in the bronzer you should be fine and also i think something like this is good for the summer just to be like a touch glowy but i mean it's really not it's it's pretty much fine and as i'm rubbing my forehead i'm not seeing any dry patches which is good and this is just my standard um, routine makeup routine to get ready for work I'm not even gonna put mascara on it's like that um, I just you know do like my face and like maybe a lip gloss and gel in my eyebrows and that is it takes me like 10 minutes I actually like this isn't bad so basically the reason I had dry patches before um, I did not moisturize my skin prior to putting on the foundation but that's something that I usually don't do so I don't wash my face in the morning or more moisturize in the morning it sounds like I'm like six years old but I literally just get up and like that's my skin for the day um, and I'm unapologetic about it. I don't care. I don't need to wash my face in the morning. Um, it's clean from the night before. I shower at like 8 o'clock at night. Um, so I just don't see any reason to wash my face. I do not like to wash my face a lot because of... Um, I don't want to strip my natural oils from my skin. I want to just kind of leave them and not mess with my face. I kind of believe that is the best way to go in terms of like preventing wrinkles and aging. So I usually just wake up and I have, you know, my moisturizer from the night before and I just put my foundation on and my skin's not usually dry and I do use a matte foundation. So this is just Marc Jacobs blush and Obsessed that I use all the time. Blush lasts forever, like I just don't know. I've had this for like years. And I use it pretty much every day. I also have a bit of a facelift going on because I have this high ponytail. 
which is nice. And then I'm just gonna fill in my brows with my Serenity and Scott brow gel. Fuck, I just got it on my forehead. This one's running out, but I'm just using it until the bitter, bitter end. And then what I'll usually do is, because I get, I have like foundation on my lips a little bit, I'll go rinse with Listerine and I'll come back and put my lip on. I'm realizing that probably just didn't make sense what I just said, that I have foundation on my lips so that I go rinse with Listerine and then put my lip on. So basically I just mean that I'll go rinse with Listerine, kind of rub, rub the crap off my lips and then put my lip on. That's like my final step. Um, I'm not doing anything crazy. I'll do these KKW um, Beauty liquid lipstick, aka this is a lip gloss. Cream liquid lipstick, like it's just not a liquid lipstick. It's just not. I get that they were trying to like um, Kim and Kylie or whatever, you know, stay with the liquid lipstick type of thing theme, but these cream liquid lipsticks are glosses with really high pigment. They're very nice. I wear them for work. They're easy. Just throw right on. But it's not a liquid lipstick. It's not going to stay on at all. You know, if you eat, it's gone. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, okay. So, I know that kind of turned into a little mini, like, rant, get ready with me thing. But now that my makeup is completely done, you can see... Um, what it looks like. Again, this is a medium coverage foundation. I think it looks pretty good. I thought that I was definitely going to return it, um, but now I'm not so sure. My only thing is, like, I really can't be bothered to put on moisturizer every morning um, before I do my foundation. I mean, maybe I could do, like, an SPF and, like, double up my SPF. That's an option. Um, but, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. My skin looks smooth underneath. And we'll see, um, you know, by the end of the day how it's holding up and I will check back in. Hi guys. So I'm just checking back in. It is about 5.30 right now. Um, and I did my makeup this morning and filmed that video around 7.30. So this is what the foundation looks like. Um, forgive me if the lighting is not that great. I just... Don't have time to be doing all my setup and stuff at the moment. I just like have a lot going on. Um, anywho, so in terms of how oily I am, I'm a little shiny, um, which I usually get throughout the day. It's been worse, so I really, I'm not mad at the oiliness level of my face right now. Um, plus, me personally, I'd rather look a little oily at the end of the day than to look patchy. Um, I feel like the foundation stayed on pretty well. I didn't touch my face or anything. I did put sunglasses on, um, which I usually get marks on my nose from those. And I think it kind of rubbed off the tip of my nose a little bit. Uh, but the foundation's not as full coverage as I'm used to, so it's fine. Um, at this point, I will probably just try this foundation one more time to make sure um, that I'm not going to look patchy when I use it, but otherwise I'm happy with it. And the fact that it's um, an SPF 25 is really great. It's hard to find, you know, that high of an SPF in a foundation. I have my Lancome foundation, which is SPF 15, and that's great. As long as, you know, I have something, especially for the summer, just protecting my face from the sun. I'm really not trying to be a wrinkled hag anytime soon. So I think that this gets the thumbs up. If you are looking for a medium coverage um, foundation, and it's solid medium, it's not light. Also, like I said, it's really compact and still has that same amount of product in there. So this is going to be really easy to bring with you anywhere travel-wise. Um, it's not glass or anything. It's You could just slip this right in your purse or in your pocket or whatever. It's really small. Here it is on the palm of my hand. Um, so yeah, I would recommend giving this a try. If anyone has tried this donation, let me know uh, what you think of it. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.